gray. It's very similar to signs. <clears throat> Both focus on a character with an emotionally troubled past. Signs was not a big sci-fi action film with the aliens always in focus. No, no, it was more of the aliens were in the background. In this, the wolves can be seen in the background. They really just sort of form as really just an obstacle for the characters to get over. A very difficult obstacle, of course. But, anyways, on to the review. Our main character, John Otway, played by an excellently casted Liam Neeson. He works at this land-based oil drilling facility. His job is to keep unwanted pests away from it, a.k.a. wolves. This is all visually explained in the first five minutes. Um, well, pretty much it's just shown, really, what he does while he's monologuing about a letter he's writing to his wife. We don't exactly know what he has, what happened to his wife, but he does say this, that, um, he does say this, why am I bothering to write this when I know I can never see you again? Very quietly. Liam Otway, John Otway is a really interesting sort of character. There's this great scene where he's just in a bar, just everything's just sort of going to pieces around him. He's just sitting there calmly having a drink. Very well directed scene. And then it's just pretty much just the madness around him when he's the only real sane thing in the room. But then he realizes, you know what, screw this. He goes out of the bar, sets his rifle up, sticks his and sticks it in his mouth. But he's, and he's just about to pull the trigger, but then he stops when he hears a wolf howl. <clears throat> this opening was done perfectly. Very well directed and very well acted. Moving ahead a bit, Otway boards a plane. Plane crashes. Only eight live, including him. Plane crash was also done very well. It builds and builds. When Otway wakes up, and what it is, just before it crashes, Otway, there's a vision, Otway has a vision of him and his wife just... In bed together, just chilling. Well, sort of cuddling up together. Really cute. The plane crash. Let's see. I wrote this down. He looks for survivors. He finds seven survivors. Well, six. One person. Well, one survivor has a big gash in his abdomen. Looks like he's hitting a major artery and probably some of his guts. And. Oh, wait. The character's name is Flannery. He goes right up to Flannery, analyzes his wound goes up right to him and says very quietly, you're going to die. Now, this is really interesting. I mean, normally in a movie like this, they'd say, you know what, just think of something nice while they try to just speed up the process. But this was interesting. He just says to him very quietly, you're going to die. The viewer, the view, the audience knows Flannery's going to die. Um, And I don't know, it was just, I don't think I've seen this done before. It was just, it was done so well, and Otway helps him through it. It's just like, think of something. Think of anything that bring, that you love. He says, my daughter, think of her. Now let her be only the thing in your mind. Let her be the only thing in your mind. It's just, it was done so just, it was just done so well. And the reactions the, the other people give after is just, yeah, like that's the thing that I've got to give a lot of praise to. These characters, they're not like, they're not, they're just people. I mean, they act like just, they're scared people. When the guy dies, they're like, oh my, th that guy just, died. they're in shock, really. I mean, this just happened, they think, what do we do? Let's see, where was I? The scene was very well done. And how well written it is, and... Yeah, Liam Neeson is just perfect for this, and just, he's so incredible, I mean, he's really gone to action movies these days, but this was just, wow, huh. But yeah, the characters are just so, like, they're so human, like, they're just people that, that you probably meet, I mean, they're just scared people. What I also admire is the conversations they have with another. As the movie goes on, two people become victims of wolf attacks, sadly. Um, the five remaining make it to the fort, make it to a force, and set up a perimeter of fires to protect themselves. The conversations include things like fear. There's one character, he's probably the one character, you know, he's a bit of an asshole. You learn to like him, though. And he's like, oh, I ain't scared of anything. And Liam Neeson just says very quietly, I'm terrified. <laughs> like, what's happened to, 
what's happened to our friends so far? I mean, that, that could, one of us could be next. And Liam Neeson, you're probably thinking, you know, wolves don't actually attack people. Well, Liam Neeson's an expert on these things and explains why they're attacking. And, <clears throat> well, the reason they're attacking, well, they're going into their territory and, like, well, they're attacking them from the plane because they're probably just passing by and their dead bodies lying everywhere. Like, just do the math. What I also admire is just how well directed the film is. Two scenes I really want to point out. There's one bit from the trailer where Otway holds out a torch and you see a, a pair of wolf's eyes. And he's like, just stay, just stay still. Then you see like eight more wolf's eyes. That right there, just the essence of fear. Wow. Another great scene is um, the one character who's been an asshole. Um, they they get attacked by this wolf and it kill him during uh, is that bit where it's just five of them surrounded by fire the fires they kill this wolf and then they decide to eat it they stick up as Otway says we're gonna stick a big stick up this thing's ass we're gonna eat it and it's just, it's such a nice scene it's so I mean apart from all the death going around it was just a, it was it brought a nice smile on my face it was just such a nice scene and it pro it just shows how well human these people are and the one guy's an asshole he's a little crazy he cuts off the wolf's head and just says and just yells out Hey, that's it you get, wolves. You met with us? We're gonna eat you. Just throws the thing off. And then, god damn. Joe, I gotta give credit to Joe Carnahan. You hear you hear a wolf howl, but you see, um, you can see the breath of the howl. Literally, like, ten feet, like, uh, ten meters from them. Then you hear, then you hear another. So another breath. You see more breath. You just keep hearing these wolves howl, and you keep seeing the breath that they make, because it's cold. You see your breath when it's cold. And it's just... The essence of fear, being surrounded, and paranoia just went up, like, by a mile. Very well-directed scenes. Um, anyways, there's also talk of religion. And I often wonder, you know, is there a god, really, and why did he put us into this place? From what I can tell, Otway, you know, spoilers, he, he his wife died in the movie. And I often wonder, was this character written specifically for Liam Neeson? Because, you know, the Natasha Richardson died, and that really had a bit of an impact on Liam Neeson. This almost seems like it's just him just in normal life. I mean, you could say because, let's be fair, his movies aren't exactly what they used to be. Um, but, I don't know, it just, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's because Joe Carnahan worked with Liam Neeson on the A-Team, but I don't know, it just, it seemed like this role was just, concrete for him. He was perfect. Um, but I, I'm gonna guess he lost faith in religion because his wife died. And, well, given his current position, who wouldn't? And that's another thing Signs did as well. Mel Gibson lost faith in religion because his wife died. It's very, it's very well done, and, like, they're just sort of, they're just sort of questioning about it. It's, it's really well done. And you can probably tell he, Liam Neeson's the only one that actually lives. And what I also like is the emphasis on wallets in this movie. Um, before they leave the plane to go to the forest, um, Liam Neeson says, here, collect everyone's wallets. So if we, we can just tell the families who lived, who didn't, like, just as a little, it's explained in the movie. <laughs> um, so it says, collect the wallets for the families. Um, and they collect all the wallets, and there's this one just absolutely incredible scene where just Liam Neeson sits down and sits down in the snow and just reflects. He looks at everyone's wallet, preferably the, you know, primarily the people who uh, were with him and died. Just looks through all their pictures, sees their kids, their families. It just proves that these are just people. I mean, okay, you could say maybe we didn't know them well enough, but they're just people nonetheless. And that scene was just, it brought tears to my eyes. It was just so well done. And then lastly, Liam Neeson, uh, Otway looks through his own wallet and you see the picture of his wife. And you learn, yes, she did died. She did die. Uh, we don't know how, but she died nonetheless. And then Liam Neeson, then Otway realizes, I'm in the wolf's, I'm at the wolf's den. And he's just surrounded. And you see the biggest, blackest mofo out there. The alpha wolf. This thing appeared earlier during 
the sort of campfire scene where they're eating the wolf. Um, the wolf they ate was an Omega wolf. And you see this alpha wolf. It is monstrous. It'll tear him to pieces. Otway well, looks around and realizes he's surrounded. Quickly empties his bag and finds a few little uh, booze bottles. Sticks them into his fingers and tapes them around. Breaks the ends of them. And tapes a knife to his right hand. And he's like, let's do it. However, this, no matter how this ends, it's going to end now. And just goes at it. The movie ends. You're probably thinking, oh, that was a stupid ending. It could have been better. Well, it was... Actually, it's pretty effective. I mean, and if you actually sat through the, the credits, you'll learn he actually defeats the Alpha Wolf. But I think it's severely injured in the process. But other than that, this is by far the best film of 2011, of 2012. I mean, let's be fair, a lot of the stuff that's come out now is pretty bad in 2012 so far. I mean, yeah, there's going to be some great stuff coming out later, but just for now, this first few months. Um... Very well done. Liam Neeson is just, wow, he's incredible. But very well directed, I must say. Joe Carnahan films, he's only done a few. Some were better than others, but this was just, wow. Um, I have to give a lot of praise to him, and Liam Neeson as well. Um, I don't know what to say. I give it a solid 9 out of 10. This is one. One of the best films of this year so far. This is what Sanctum, that movie Sanctum, the one I hated, should have been. I mean, the problem with Sanctum is just, you didn't care for these these people. I mean, they weren't normal people. I mean, everyone in it was practically an asshole. I mean, even the father. I mean, yeah, the father's experience, he just wants to keep everyone safe. But even he's just sort of sit there grouching at everyone. I mean, Liam Neeson, he's just, he's... Like, he's aggressive, but he's, at the same time, like, he's scared shitless. I mean, he didn't expect this to happen. Like, he's in shock. Um, but very well, not very amazing nonetheless. Um, I wouldn't mind watching it again, but it is intense. And these deaths are graphic. And, I should probably address this, there is a black guy in the movie, <laughs> but he's not the first to die. He, and he actually dies the piece most peaceful, he, um, he kind of freezes to death, or has a stroke, none of oxygen gets to his brain, I think he freezes, um, but very good nonetheless, um, and the title of the gray, I guess, refers to wolves, it can't be called the black, not piss people off, can't be called the white, not piss people off, Jeremy Johns, but very good nonetheless, um, already making my award predictions. Who knows? I mean, Liam Neeson is just amazing in this. He's tough, he's aggressive, he's emotional, he's great, he's scared, he's, he's Liam Neeson. He's just a phenomenal actor. Um, I'm curious what his next big film will be. I mean, he's going to be in Wrath of the Titans and Battleship. I could see them being bad, but if he can do another film like this, and if Joe Carnahan can get it can do another film like this, I'm on board. Um, this was great. Uh, but these these deaths are graphic. Like, some people get just ripped to shreds. One guy gets his dick bitten off. He's taking a piss and a wolf attacks him. His guts get ripped out. It's graphic. But yeah, but they just made these people so human. I will admit, and um, they need to mention a few names. I mean, you only learn... Liam Neeson's named John Otway, like, when it's just, like, the, there's just three people left. One guy gets it off easy, and you don't know how he dies. Um, but I do like the sort of transition. You know, he just, Otway hates his life, and then he's fighting for his life. That was just so well done. Very, very good film. Would recommend it. Um, best film of 2012 so far. And who knows, maybe it'll be one of the best films of the year. Who knows? Um, that's all I have to say. I give it a 9 out of 10, and I'll see you later. Bye.